Ever wondered which superpower is the most useful and how they compare based on my own arbitrary opinions? Well, luckily for you, today we're going to be ranking different superpowers and putting them into a tier list. Our tier list is 5 tiers ranging from cursed powers, which are powers that as the name implies are cursed for whatever reason, lame powers which are superpowers that I think suck for a variety of different reasons, neutral powers which are powers that either don't really make much of a difference or are kind of useless, good powers which are powers that are useful and would be cool to have and super super powers which are for the S tier powers that give you immense power or control. Starting off with two of my ex favourite superpowers, let's get these out of the way to begin with. Both invisibility and freezing time have been ruined for me forever and it's because of you perverts. You know who you are. You make me sick. If I ask someone if they could have a superpower, what would it be and they tell me they want to freeze time? and performing a citizen's arrest and having your hard drive scraped. If I had the ability to freeze time, I would use it to cheat on exams or rob a bank or walk on water or something. If you freaky freaks had the ability to freeze time, it would get rated R expeditiously. Same for invisibility. One guy who supposedly actually had invisibility was Faust from the German folktale and he used it to slap the Pope and beat friars. See if you wanted a supervillain Max and you had invisibility, that's what normal people would do. You guys would just go into the girls' toilets and be creep maxing if you had invisibility. And for these reasons, I'm going to be putting them both into the Cursed Powers tier. Quick editor's note, the drawings of the superheroes are only meant to represent the one ability that I'm talking at that point. It doesn't necessarily mean that the character drawn is in that tier. Dr. Manhattan is obviously crazy OP, but for the sake of the tier list, his drawing goes in Cursed because the time freeze ability is Cursed. I Back to the video. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into one of these super super powers and yes, it's going to be time travel. The possibilities are literally endless, but if I had time travel, the first thing I'm going to be doing is going back to September 10th, 2001. And I think you know where this is going. I'm going to be at the ground floor of the World Trade Centers, warning everyone with maximum fervor, telling them all that tomorrow at 8 a.m., there's going to be a massive pizza party on the top floor of the North Tower. I'll be handing out flyers, coupons, hell, even t-shirts about the pizza party. Now of course that's not all I'm going to be doing as I'll go back and arrest the hijackers before they even get on the planes so there actually will be a pizza party. And by the time we get back to the present day, September 11th will just be another normal day. In fact, let's check the news and see what's on. Welcome back to Stick Fall Wars. Our top story tonight, remembering 9-11, the 22.7th anniversary since the day the Twin Towers fell. For uh, absolutely no reason, yes, they just decided to fall in their imprint. We still have footage from the day before of a young Greek philosopher who was telling people about a pizza party on the top floor of the North Tower. Oh no, his identity remains a mystery, with some rumours that his name may be Apathetic Twig. Regardless, what we do know is that he is incredibly smart, handsome and charming. Hey, don't forget humble. George Bush, not knowing what to do at the time, decided to invade Afghanistan because why not? And he's a goddamn patriot for doing it. I guess 9-11 is a canon event or something. Regardless, time travel, easy super superpower tier. Next we have the superpowers of the Fantastic Four and funnily enough they're all in their own tiers. The Human Torch easily gets the super superpower tier, being able to control fire, turn himself into a nuclear bomb and fly is obviously insanely good. The Invisible Woman gets the good tier due to the fact that she has telekinesis and she also has invisibility which is a pretty good bonus as well. Mr. Fantastic gets the neutral tier because his superpower is stretchiness, which has its uses but there's only so much you can do with stretchy skin. He was already smart before the radiation so I won't count that as part of his superpowers. Now the thing is going into the cursed powers tier because really it's the most useless superpower. He literally turned into a giant stone, with big stone fingers that he can't really use for anything. There's literally a scene in one of the OG Fantastic Four movies where he tried to use a payphone but his big sausage rock fingers break the buttons and he gets mad. <laughs> they also made him extremely ugly. As a stone, he could quite literally chisel himself a jawline, 
but yet he still looks like a calcified toe. I think the worst part is that he literally can't turn it off either. Like the other powers are cool and they can be hidden, but the rock gimp has to be a rock 24-7? Yeah, that seems fair to me. Um, well actually, in comic book number 57 of the Fantastic Four 7 edition, he can turn off his powers. Listen, shh, come here, shh, 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 shh. That's it. Don't shh, shh. It'll all be over soon. Don't worry about it. We're gonna put those organs to better use. The Infinity Gauntlet, easy super super power tier. Thanos wielding the gauntlet with all the stones could basically create universes and anything else. So yeah, it's pretty OP. You might have clicked the video because he was in the thumbnail and he's also weirdly more detailed than any of the other drawings. And let me tell you, that's a complete coincidence and you should take no notice. While we're on the topic of Thanos though, he was most definitely correct about snapping half the universe. And the counterpoint of him being able to create double the resources doesn't actually work. Because the point of killing half the people was to get them to self-regulate themselves before they would reach the limits of their resources. If you just doubled the resources, people would just accelerate faster towards that new upper limit. Squirrel manipulation is the lamest power I have ever heard of. You might think that I'm making this up, but there is a superhero called Squirrel Girl and she can talk to squirrels and has some squirrel abilities. She also somehow beat Thanos by summoning an army of squirrels to beat him up and no, I'm not kidding. I know I'm intentionally leaving out the fact that this happened in a joke Christmas issue comic, but I choose to admit that fact because it's funnier that way. Easy lame tier, but if I had this ability, I would use it to terrorise certain boomers that have this weird hatred for squirrels. Look it up, it's a real thing. Or don't because I might make a video on it. Super speed can either go into the super super power tier or in the curse tier solely due to one variable. Are they able to turn it off? Because the flash has the ability to turn his super speed off so that he perceives time normally, but the red rush from Invincible is living constantly in slow motion, such that every day lasts thousands of times longer than it should. Imagine passing a kidney stone in 1000 times slow motion. That just sounds like hell. Or it would come out at super speed, which honestly I think is worse. That's why I'm putting it in the cursed tier, just for the simple chance that it could be the red rush type speed. Next we have the power of hindsight which as the name implies lets you figure out what the best course of action is after the situation has already been resolved. Hindsight Lad is a superhero who has this power, I mean it's not even really a power, it's just an observation after the fact. I would have put this in neutral if it wasn't for the fact that anytime someone uses it, its only purpose is to piss me off. One time I bought a few thousand dollars worth of a crypto shitcoin and it went to zero in like a day. And my friend said to me, in hindsight, you probably shouldn't have bought those coins. Really? Because here I was thinking I should have bought more. Idiot. For that reason, I'm putting it in the lame tier. Size manipulation is another power that I'm putting in the lame tier because on this channel, we respect the laws of the conservation of mass. If you decrease your size to that of an ant, cough, cough, ant man, then you'll just be an ant that weighs the same as a human. So you can't go jumping from leaf to leaf or be put in someone's pocket. If you jumped on someone's shoulder, it would be like if I dropped an 80 kilogram dumbbell on your shoulder. You would immediately crumple under the weight or at least get knocked off balance. This further complicates the whole Ant-Man beats Thanos theory, which if you didn't know was that the Avengers would subdue Thanos so that Ant-Man could slip into his crack and then turn into a huge giant. I don't think I could withstand the expanding pressure of the mass of an average male, but I think Thanos might. Telepathy is another super super power and it's the ability to transmit your thoughts slash will into other people. Essentially it's like mind control and depending on your power level, say Charles Xavier from the X-Men, you can influence someone to do what you want from the other side of the earth without anyone knowing that they're under your control. Now he's also technically disabled and some people may see that as a downside but me personally, I believe that that's his second superpower as it gives him access to powers that almost no one has, such as disabled parking. I have to walk like an extra minute to get into the supermarket, whereas he could just park right outside the front door. Now one minute may not seem like a lot, but over the course of a lifetime, it could add up to thousands of minutes, so in a roundabout way, he's also time travelling. Now you understand why he's in the super super power tier. 
the last power we will be looking at will be shapeshifting. Now I'm going to put this into the good tier, although I will say that it's one of the powers that I would most like to have. Just imagine all the mischief you could get up to. You could start World War 3 by turning into a world leader and telling them to launch some nukes. Or you could turn into a celebrity and get them cancelled just for the fun of it. I would turn into Taylor Swift just to see how loyal the Swifties are after I take a page out of Kanye's book. Really, the possibilities are endless. It's kind of like mind controlled but a more involved ability. Just for fun reasons alone, it earns its place in the good tier. Alright, that's all we have time for unfortunately. Like and subscribe, otherwise I'll hit you with a beam of radiation that causes you to secrete wasp mating pheromones and let me tell you, those wasps get mighty persistent. But other than that, thanks for watching, hope to see you in the next video. Bye.